All right, we are back. It's time for Gothic and this weird trash before him. Uh, so yeah, there. Wait, wait, what happened here? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> so, so here you can see the carcass of an unholy axe. Um, so yeah, there's mobs well, here that are can't because you're still on your weird video. Oh, your thank you. Overlay. Thank you. Sorry. Welcome to Gothic. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we have these uh, these living weapons uh, that are called unholy whatnots that we have to deal with. Uh, so yeah, let's see what's going on here. Uh, okay. So we have axes, the staffs, and the swords, and they all do something slightly different. So axes first. They have a mortal strike. Okay, so reduced healing. What? What? What's good? You guys causing trouble? Is is that a fish again? Are you guys? Are you guys kicking a fish into the weapons? I I threw it the wrong way. Okay. Continue. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. So the the axes they yeah the mortal strike. Uh, they also have a whirlwind and they do sweeping strikes. So they're an arms warrior. Okay. Uh, these are PVP monsters. <laughs> Yep, okay. Uh spread these guys out and have two tanks on each. What, tank switch on the mortal strike, maybe? Probably. Just because they probably do a lot of damage, yeah. We'll see. If it's yeah, we'll see. I don't know. They might be okay with if I if it's a normal 50%, well, we'll see. Alright, anyways, alright. So the, we have unholy staffs. They do an arcane explosion every eight seconds. They also have a frost nova. And they polymorph the highest threat player. Highest threat on the staff, I would imagine. Okay. Just zerg these guys down and dispel the tanks. Um, so, yeah. Tanks will get polymorphed. Um, easy peasy. All right. Unholy Swords. They do a Thrash, which is a uh, 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 Wind Fury. And they also cleave. Same thing. We did. We just kill them. So these are guys that just do lots of damage. It looks like the only ones we really have to worry about are the axes. So when the axes happen, um, yeah, that's when we'll yeah we'll sure we can like well how many come at a time two or just one? The, well, so this room is different on classic. Okay, too. if it's just uh, one axe. Oh yeah, like or, it will be at least two per pack. Yeah, we most, might we might get points. combos. Yeah, is this like a an axe and a staff? Let me see. Yes. Yeah. I okay. Yeah. So yeah, we'll get combos like this. So, um, so so uh, for if we get a staff and or if we have a sword, I think we just group those up and kill them, and then axes we pull out face away from the raid, and probably kill last. I would imagine. And then a sword. Okay, so so yeah, we just have to do some more pulls and um the mobs after, there's a few more. We've actually seen these guys before. These are the guys that do the arcane explosions and the um and they summon the untargetable ghosts, etc. We just handle them like normal. And then we deal we'll deal with some more horse guys. Uh, then we go down this long hallway, and then in here to the right is Gothic. We have one, one more pack here. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure what what will trigger this fight. We might want to be it's careful. It's shooting Gothic. Oh, is it? Oh, oh yeah, right. Be because you have to hit him. You, because you have to split up beforehand. All right, so check out this room. So there's Gothic. All right, that's the guy. This is this is the room we're in. Uh, you'll see it's kind of like split up. We have a side over here and a side over here. When this when the fight starts, these gates are gonna close. So the raid is essentially like we want to split in half beforehand. We're gonna have uh, and the the fight is basically two phases we have the first phase where we deal with ads on both sides and then gothic comes down and then we fight him 
Um, so first up, we have one second. Um, let me find it in Discord. Uh, Death Knight Wayne. All right, Gothic. Okay, so uh, two to three tanks per side. A lot of tanks. So we're going to have some warriors going tanks here. That being said, um, for the most part, probably don't actually need tank here. Yeah, right? So we have a, so the, the way this works is it, there's a live side, which is the side I'm on right now. It looks nice and clean on the floor. And then an undead side, where if you look in there, there's a bunch of piles of bones and stuff. That's how, that's how you can know where you are. All right, um, we want to only have uh, um, melee and physical D DPS only on the undead side, uh, and then and because spells uh, from mages and warlocks I, I won't work on the undead mobs. So we'll have all of our casters over on live side, and then our physical DPS over on undead side. The way it works is mobs will spawn first in the live side. And then as we kill them, then they get risen again in the undead side. And then and then they have to deal with them over there. So we have to kill them twice, essentially. And then we have to go through that uh, that for uh, a little bit, a certain amount of time. I think I, I wrote it down. Um, maybe not. We'll, we'll have to look at how long we do it. But um let's talk about the mobs we're going to be seeing so let's talk ab uh about live side first the one i'm on um we have unrelenting riders unrelenting death knights and unrelenting trainees let me see if i could just i keep messing this up uh all right so yeah he has a really low amount of health um yeah uh, it's it's gonna be like what the actual part when we get to him is the easy part um okay so first we're gonna talk about the live side guys right we're gonna we're gonna go into all of them so the the actual order we, we want to kill them is the uh the the sorry the writers first then the death knights then the trainees okay so we'll i'll read them uh most important first okay so like none of these have a ton of hit points if we see your 25k 18k 4500 um the writers so they yeah they have a uh normal attack they have an unholy aura um which does a bunch of damage to nearby oh shadow protection okay so we'll, we'll need to remember to use shadow prop before the fight as well um I, we just heal it i think and that, that's why we prioritize these guys because so we don't have to deal with all that damage oh and they also do a shadow bolt volley so uh, the shadow bolt volley is interruptible yeah and it's and oh yeah long cast time and it only hits people afflicted by Shadow Mark, which you get from the next mob we're going to talk about, the Unrelenting Death Knights. Um, these guys are CCable if we if we need to through like through shackles. Um, they have yeah, really not that much hit points. They don't hit that hard. Their abilities are they'll they'll intercept. The intercept comes with its normal stun, and then they do that Shadow Mark we were just talking about. Um, it's uh it hits for about a thousand on the tank lasts for 15 wait a thousand when like right when it applies i think so yeah that, that, that's weird wording i'm not sure yeah and then the shadow mark lasts for 15 seconds and allows you to be hit by the death riders shadow bolt volley um yeah so when you have that it sucks and you don't want to take the shadow bolt volleys all right uh but if we interrupt all Shadow Bull Bullies, it doesn't matter. And we have Unrelenting Trainees. These are like the 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 last guys in the order. They're not a big deal. Um, they don't hit that hard. They have the yeah nothing even really worth mentioning it except maybe the knockdown. Um, 
So kill these guys quick, last in the kill order. So uh, people on live side, riders, death knights, trainees. All right, on dead side. This is where all the melee and hunters, all the physical DPS is going to be. We, well, we may, thinking about it, we may end up putting some melee on the live side because otherwise we're going to have like double the dps on oh side. yeah yeah yes yeah. some melee might still that that's a good point because the the goal is to have the dps be somewhat even uh, between both sides um so now we have these three mobs on undead side they're and so instead of unrelating unrelenting whatever's now they're spectral whatever's uh this kill order is actually going to be the the trainees first and then the riders and then the death knights and then you're also going to see uh spectral horses um that they're going to be last so the trainees first um they uh they're just going to like they only have 5000 hit points but they're just going to run up to you and start arcane explosioning and it's yeah it's annoying and uh i mean it says 500 damage but if it hits like all the melee it's it's annoying right so we try to kill them quickly um and then next we have the spectral riders these guys only have 10k hit points they they don't attack that hard um but these also have that unholy aura right that just deals damage over time and these ones um instead of the the mark and and shadow bolt volley these guys do a life drain um it's a single target converts the damage and a hit point right to heat right, that, that's that's a life drain but we can kick it so as soon as he starts channeling that thing uh we can interrupt it no big deal we kill them second next we kill these death knights they have a lot more hit points um uh we'll probably be working on these guys most of the time but if a but if a a, a rider or a uh a trainee comes out then just switch kill them real quick because they don't have a lot of hit points and then get back on the death knight um death knights do whirlwind they have sunders uh oh but we can disarm these guys and that prevents the sunders they also have a cleave okay so we grab these guys turn them away from the raid stun them uh and and burn them down um melee just have to kind of be aware of what's what's going like where the death knights are and where they're facing and then fourth we have the spectral horses uh these guys have 30,000 hit points. They cannot be CC'd. Um they have uh their basic melee attack does 2,000 damage and they have a a stomp that's a a point blank AoE uh that oh reduces your movement speed too by 60%, which is a more a lot more important on the melee side. Uh so we have these marked last in the kill order. Maybe, maybe because they have so much health. Yeah, you can't burn them down. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, they they still need to die, but like, and we still need to pick them up and kind of like move them away from the other melee. But um, but melee should be free to go into them when there's no other mobs up. Honestly, so, what we can probably end up doing on dead side is just stack everything up and just cleave it. That's probably mm. going to be the best strategy. We'll yeah. see. Like well, that might be something that we call on the fly. Yeah, but... we'll we'll have to see. Okay. Um, so this says Gothic comes down at four and a half minutes into the fight. Doesn't he do stuff like do like he teleports to the sides? Does he like shoot stuff he at switched, us? He he no. He just alternates sides once he's active. He doesn't do anything for the first phase. He just he stands and alternates watches sides us. and. All right. Cool. Um. So yeah, about four and a half minutes of of waves of ads um which i know is annoying but uh phase two is really easy we just we just kill, kill him we, we just kill him yeah <laughs> um yeah is there really anything like if we really want to go deep he here he just switches sides does he do anything he'll yeah he'll land on the caster side then teleport twice to the melee side after he is teleported back to the caster side, oh yeah, then the doors open. After all of that, then then uh yeah, melee are free to run across and finish him up. The ads. One thing that's okay. 
Yeah, what you were about to say is what's important to say. It says the ads don't despawn. So if if we do want to off tank stuff, we still have to deal with it. Okay. And if if like say there's an ad alive on the live side and you kill it as he's spawning, uh, all of a sudden he's going to show up on the dead side now, and we have to deal with it while also doing uh, gothic. So it's something to be aware of. Like if a mob sheeped and you decide to kill it because there's nothing else for you to attack, uh, the other side is going to have to deal with it. Right. So we need to make sure that they're ready for that if if that's something that happens. All right. I since this fight takes a while, I'm I'm just gonna aggro gothic right now so we can actually do it. Um, so also, so I'm oh, wait, I can't. Well, yeah, I can melee him. Whatever. You gonna melee? I can also summon. Well, my Fud, pet. Fud can melee too, right? I can summon my pet. My pet will one shot everything. Okay. All right. Well, Fud can be on whatever side he wants, and or he's gonna stand in the middle and see what happens. He's gonna try to get stuck right. in the gate. So the gate closes, and then remember that the, the guys spawn first on the live side. I don't know if these mobs are going to be the same as the ones I just read about. Um, I don't think they are. I think they're actually death knights with death knight abilities. Oh, okay. Well, here's some trainees. Like, well, we'll be seeing a lot of the train. Oh, yeah. So a lot of the easier mobs do come out at first too, right? And then like, yeah. then like the next wave is like will like add in like a guy on a horse or something. So then all their souls go over there and you see those ghosts. That is the undead side having to deal with their part. We got some more stuff. Now we have a, what is that? Earth L or wait, no, the earth elementals on our side. Fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> all right, we go check over and see what's happening on the undead side. You see the souls, they, they go from the live side and then they go into those bone piles and then the ghosts come out of them there. Is Gothic damageable while he's up here? I nope. think he's immune. Yeah, we have immune. Mm -hmm. so yeah, we just chill for a few minutes. Uh, but yeah, you'll notice that the, the, um, the waves get harder and harder as it goes on. And it speeds up. Yeah, so if you if you fall behind, it it gets really hard at the end. So there's a death knight instead of the trainees. No problem. I don't have a time. This is not another one of those fights where if if we have the DPS, we're just gonna kill it like that. This fight. This fight was hard, I think, because if, if you didn't have the DPS, you'd have so many mobs up, and it, it was harder to control. But if we keep all of our waves down consistently, um, I think the fight just can go pretty smoothly. It's very similar to Nath Oh, see it's going? One. Yeah, see it? Oh, yeah, they're going. Oh, they go up here on the balcony, and they fly and over there. Spirits go across, yeah. Oh, that's fun. It, yeah. They're doing the arcade. You can see the arcane explosion happening on that side. There's a spectral death knight. Hunters on dead side, hunter pets on live side. <laughs> the maximum skill check. There's some horses over there. The 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 uh the last in the kill order that we, we don't see on live side. There's the there's my the stomp. Okay. Yeah, I guess when we get the unrelenting riders, like they separate from their horses when they go to the other side. Correct. Oh yeah, there they are. <laughs> They're, yeah, they're separate mobs. Also, in this version, they're not immune to magic over here. Wait, what? So you can just split up your raid however you want? Yeah, in this version. I need to get close. Shoot.
Yeah, I don't know how long it's been. Oh, actually, no. I arcane intellect just right when it started. So it's we're pretty close. So wh when he teleports down, don't attack him immediately. Let's see what he does. Here we go. So we're all done. So yeah, he's that casting Shadow Bolt. Is he gonna like try to punch me? Oh come on, please try to punch me. Well, I think they're interruptible. So if you silenced it, if you interrupted it, it would. Nope, I can't interrupt it. No. Oh Maybe yeah, it, it's bolt. it's got like the shield thing around. Okay, so then so yeah, every once in a while, then he'll teleport sides, oh, and then. Uh, hmm. What? Oh, your pets? That's fine. My pet, my pet That's fine. Did so at, killed him. after a few of the teleports, the gates open, and then everyone can DPS him. But like, we might not even get there. He might just die if he only has three hundred eighty thousand hit points. Oh, cool! Look at all this cool stuff. All right, that's gothic so, down. Fud brought up a good point. Four horsemen is pretty much impossible with three people. We're gonna need someone else. We got any any uh, any volunteers? Where, where, uh, how many? How many? Should, four, I guess. Five or, or five, so nice. I can so I can, can camera. Rotate. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I know we have a, a good amount of people in here and people watching. So if anyone has a character on retail, um, that can fly here real quick then uh let's yeah we can start hitting uh i mean we're, we're gonna take a five minute here anyways so that'll give time for, for you to guys get to get here and then we can start talking about the four horsemen um okay who's here i wonder where seymour is yeah i don't know he said he wanted to be on but i know he would he would be perfect to come on here um I'm going to add him again. I clicked the officer voice channel instead of the chat channel. <laughs> I do that a lot. <laughs> I joined it. Okay. Uh, I don't know if he gets like notification. He would have got the notification already. I don't want to bug him. Um, oh yeah, that's okay. Yeah. 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 Don't, don't feel like you have to, uh, Warrior, get a healer. I, I can bring whatever. Um, I can bring my priest. I can grab my warrior or my paladin too. Um. Yeah. What should we? Well, we're gonna want to be able to like control the mobs too, without killing them. Right. Um. So. Yeah. So taunts essentially. Yeah. What Fud said. Uh. Okay, yeah, I maybe I'll I'll just go get K Dog, get my warrior too. I was gonna grab my paladin, but if or, I have a that... I have a druid. Well, well, well. If we bring druids and paladins, we can heal too, which I, I think will yeah. be good. And then we can also taunt. So I have a I have a druid or something. I'll bring. Um, okay. Uh, we still need uh, plus one more. I think for I think Revla just logged in to do that. Oh, really? Oh, heck yeah. All right, I'm going to invite his character, and then um, I'm going to pass lead to Revla, actually. Pass lead to you. And then I'm going to camp out on, on K. Louis and switch over to a druid or something. I'm not sure what I have on this account. Let me see. Uh... Oh, I got a couple. You have a lot of characters. <laughs> a lot. A lot of these are from when I was doing the, doing the five box. I had a five box hunter. This was the leader, jacked man, rip man, swole man, thick man, and something else. Uh, this is my bank alt, big shot. He's got a backpack. Pretty cool. Um, this was yeah my druid five box. I'll probably just bring him. Yeah, I'll 
bring Hey Louie. And then I have Key Louie. I got this name from Shenanigans. Uh, this is my rogue that I, I send all my lockboxes to. So Key Louie's perfect. All right. Oh, <laughs> Hey Louie is in AQ. I was doing this last time. You guys were in here with me. We were doing this last time. That's right. Uh, you won't be in AQ anymore, by the way. You'll yeah, be I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna be in um, the BFA place. Yeah, it's okay. All right. So where's where's the portal to the uh, the so Dalaran go, North or North? Go Red down Dine. the ramp to your left. Go through the org portal. Org, this one. And then... You're laggy as hell in that zone. The room that you teleport into uh, will have a portal that goes to Shatrath, or go to Dol goes to Dalaran Crystal Song Forest. Like down... Oh, wait, down in, here? In this room where you are, yeah. Okay, it's down here. Okay, got one it. One of them will say Dalaran oh, Crystal got Song it. Forest or something like Thank that. Thank you, Agbar. Cool. I got a new recruiter friend at war. 30 free gate. What? This is great. Yes, I claim this what? reward. 30 free days again. I got another. Oh, no, I don't got another one. I just had the one. Yeah, so I actually used recruiter friend on uh, my five boxes and got all the rewards. So I have like the cool camel and the weapon effects mm -hmm. and the backpack. And it actually, like, you during all of it, though, you got four extra free months of game time. So it was really nice. All right, cool. Okay, I am gonna um I'm gonna put up the title card for Four Horsemen now, and we're uh let's do a five minute break. Um, Rebel, can you either pass lead back or just kick out the offline characters? I don't care which. I have to switch still, but I have to wait until someone else is in the zone. Oh, okay. All right, I'm on my way. We also might have the issue of I have to zone out and back in. Okay. To get you into the same instance, because right. this game's broken. Right. Right, you are. Okay. All right. Putting title card up now, um, and yeah, uh, I'll play the song.